You have two choices, to either stream or don't stream, of which there are varied consequences. Obviously, if you stream, you'll have a chance for success, but if you don't stream at all, you'll have no chance of success. So the obvious choice here would be to stream and stream constantly, to take a shot at it, to maybe get there one day, so yeah. Why do people stream for zero viewers? That's the question we'll be asking ourselves today and we'll explore the media industry as we know it for now. Water. Fire. No. Earth. Fire. Air. In the past, there has been four media industries, film, print, radio and television, but now emerged a new one called the internet. It's been around for the past 30 years, but... And with a, with a million scholarly articles on social media defining what it is, how it interacts with advertising, and how it impacts society, we still don't know everything about the corners of the internet. And one of those corners is successful streaming. We don't know what makes a successful streamer or how to strategize in that manner because it's not rigorously understood. But right now we have two definitions. The first is the act of streaming to people and the second being the act of streaming to people. Both definitions are equally valid, I would argue, as the act, the very act of streaming with good audio and visuals is already a tough challenge to do. The act of being discovered by people altogether is a different hurdle. But why do people prefer the first, the second definition over the first? Well, it's because the second definition takes into account mass communication, where you communicate or talk to people, a, a lot of people, on a specific platform. The mass medium counts as YouTube or Twitch, whereas the mass audience is defined very loosely it can range from 10 to a thousand or a million, but normally people recognize you as a successful streamer or content creator when you have a million views on YouTube. No one can argue that. So for the purpose of defining what it truly means to be a successful streamer, in my opinion. I would say streaming constantly to a thousand people over a month. Honestly, a thousand people is quite enough, and I would argue that that is already mass communication. And to even do that, you need to have skills in a wide variety of producing content, such as all these. But none of this teaches you how to strategize, because Everything is left up to chance. Being discovered by people is left up to chance. No matter how good you are at making videos, you'll never if you never get discovered, you'll never be famous or successful in that sense. What we all know is through case studies, through successful streamers such as PewDiePie, they tell us that all streamers must have a USP where entertainers are entertaining or educators are educating or enlightening of which yeah you can have that but then again it still leaves things to chance and they ratify this by telling you all to constantly stream and that is true but getting people's attention takes time and it takes constant streaming which is why people get exhausted but at the same time, there's about 3,000 live streamers out there constantly on Twitch streaming to absolutely no one. So, to highlight or to put this issue into context, I'd like to bring Vivaldi into the picture. He died in 1741 and he was a music composer, violinist, teacher and a Catholic priest. He was, is, wildly brilliant and is successful today, but that all wasn't always the case because for 200 years humanity did not recognize Vivaldi at all because his scores and transcripts were all lost until 200 years later in 1939, Alfredo Casella found his works. He deeply researched into Vivaldi's life and death and found his old belongings, transcribing them into 
readable pieces that we see today, and that's why Vivaldi is famous in the classical world. It takes someone who really cares about you, and it takes a lot of time. For Vivaldi, it was outside his lifespan, but honestly, for everyone, that is going to be a lot of work to do. We can't really control who discovers us and who doesn't. And that is why you need to just wait until someone shines a spotlight onto you and slowly from there you'll be discovered over time. And that's how you stop streaming. You shift from definition one to definition two of streaming. To end off the video, I would like to highlight a point or put this in another light compared to Vivaldi. Throughout human history, we've been only capable of war and recently we've been able to end the human species in a day. So yeah, that is terrifying and that's been around for over 2,000 years. But being able to captivate a million people, it's not... It wasn't possible for the last 2,000 years. Tell that to someone like a peasant in the 1800s, or a king, in fact, in the 1800s, and they wouldn't be able to capture the, the attention of a million people. But just about everyone today can do that. So keep living the dream and keep trying. That's the only way you'll be successful. Know that the power to get a million people's attention has never been possible until now. And maybe that will spur you on. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all later.